Hi there, welcome to end to end solution architect session. Today I'll be creating or basically signing up for the free trial version of GitHub Enterprise. So as you see that I have opened github.com slash enterprise and we know that the basic difference between the free GitHub and the enterprise version is mostly on the collaboration and the security part. So for the organization who uses uh, a GitHub, they generally go for a uh, GitHub enterprise. Now there are two flavors of GitHub enterprise. One is the cloud hosted, another is data center hosted. So I will come uh, one after another. So at this moment that uh, I have browsed github.com slash enterprise, and this is the website you will get. And it is asking that uh, start a free trial. So I'm just clicking over it, start a free trial. And I am already logged into my github.com free account uh, with my personal ID. Now it is asking uh, pick your trial plan and the recommended it uh, and the recommended is enterprise cloud. So it is cloud hosted. And secondly, the enterprise server, which is basically the data center hosted or own hosted basically the organization who wants to host the github enterprise of their own it can be in their cloud or their data center that is called enterprise server so i'm clicking on enterprise cloud let's see and now it is asking me uh, for a name and before i enter the name it is set, uh, asking to set up your enterprise trial try github enterprise cloud free for 30 days uh, so I'm just uh, giving a try over here. Enterprise name and enterprise URL. It will be like this github.com slash E2ESAORG. And uh, the organization, it is asking to choose an existing organization to include in the new enterprise account. So it is basically listing of my existing uh, accounts which I have. So uh, for the testing purpose, I'm just selecting one. So here I want to test that when I selected an existing organization, will it copy that organization into my new enterprise account or just create an organization by uh, my existing organization name? So uh, let's uh, test that. Okay. So the billing for any selected organization will be delegated to the enterprise account. Okay. Learn about uh, charges to your billing during trial. So I'm just opening in a separate tab to check the billing during trial. Well, so it's saying that you can set up a 30 day trial to evaluate GitHub Enterprise Cloud. Your trial includes an enterprise account which allows you to manage multiple organization. For more information, see this during this trial, you can add any number of new and existing organization to your enterprise for existing organization. Billing is paused during the trial and any coupons are removed to reapply coupons, create this, this, this. Okay. So basically when I'm adding one existing organization, the billing is paused during the trial. Okay. So it's fine that I have added an existing organization also just uh, for testing and adding uh, my contact details over here quickly. And after uh, adding the contact details and uh, work email, country, company details like this, uh, it will ask me to solve a puzzle over here to verify I'm a real person. And then uh, two check boxes over here and create your enterprise and let's see how it goes and clicking on create your enterprise and it has created as you see that uh, it's saying created e2e saorg enterprise trial account 30 days left on trial so the your github enterprise trial will expire in 30 days and it looks like uh, the same github the free account we usually use and welcome to your enterprise account. And uh, it is asking invite owner, create your first organization, enable SAML, uh, single sign on over here and uh, buy enterprise at this moment. I'm not going for buying enterprise and all this. 
and uh, add github users or send an email invite so what i can do that i can give a try to so add one uh, user so here if i click over on the left side members clicking over invite admin and uh, clicking on owner and uh, now this time let me search so solution so let's add my the solution architect this as owner and it's saying that invite an enterprise administrator etsa org has 47 available licenses send invitation and it's saying that you have invited the solution architect to become an administrator of etsa org and uh, by this time uh, the user i have invited i have received an email for that uh, going to the dashboard for this enterprise account i have created and i see that uh, this is the organization the existing organization i added so if i click over this existing organization public one and just trying to see that whether i have this repositories created or not it's showing two repositories over here and i see yes so these repositories are over here so it means that once we are creating the enterprise account and we select uh, any existing account that uh, any existing organization an existing organization means the organization previously created in a free account or github.com account we can import that basically uh, that organization completely with the repositories and source code if I go inside uh, this Terraform private repository let me see that uh, what is inside that uh, we have uh, few code over here well so returning to the dashboard okay i'm now in my organization account again so it is github.com slash enterprise and e2esaorg basically the enterprise account the new account i have created over here it was very quick session just to show that how we can sign up for github enterprise account within this 30 days of trial period uh, we will do some POCs and we'll try that how it works, what are the advantages and what are the basic uh, difference between github.com and github enterprise, which is basically we know about the collaboration. So how we can do the collaboration. One more thing, uh, I will show that how we can migrate Azure DevOps to github enterprise. So it is basically that suppose you have your project organization created in Azure DevOps, you have your multiple pipelines in Azure DevOps and you want to migrate your Azure DevOps to GitHub Enterprise because GitHub Enterprise also provides multiple DevOps features. Okay, so how we can utilize that, how we can create the pipeline using uh, GitHub Actions, how we can create uh, uh the project board using github issues like this okay so we'll explore more in upcoming 30 days and to check more into github enterprise thank you for your time see you in our next session